Okay, welcome back to some more Skyrim. I, can take you to Where do you want to I am going to Windhelm. Climb and back and we'll be to, um, actually, that's wrong. I'm sorry, Burolam. I'd like to have your carriage again. I'm going to Markarth, buy a horse, and then going to Windhelm. Because <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of a trot to where I'm, to where I'm heading. Uh, I'm basically going to go to Fort Abal. And um, we can try and see if we can get the Bound Bow. Because it's super duper early level. And maybe the mages are not too tough yet. Uh, but at the very least discover the area and potentially... Um, Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Now I want to go to... I said Markarth. We'll Why would you take me to Wind? <laughs> what is going on? I know I picked Windhelm first, but we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully we can. Uh, hopefully that they are novice mages and not apprentices, and it's and it locks them in that level. That'd be pretty pretty useful. If that was the case. So let's buy a horse here. You you need a you need a solid horse in the reach. You need a reliable horse in the reach. Reliable. Here's the thousand dara. No, I don't need a trained war dog. Now we can uh, use our horse to go to Windhelm. So in this episode, I was thinking of doing a little bit of like traveling around in different cities and discovering the things that, uh, for example, here in Windhelm, there's not just Fort Amal, but I want to do that quickly so that uh, apprentice mages don't spawn. I think they spawn around level seven, but there is a uh, gallows rock. I need to discover there is the Helm of Ingol, there is the Mazulft storage room, uh, the Atronach stone. It's a bunch of stuff around Wind Windhelm. Same thing with Riften, same thing with Markarth. Uh, this one just takes priority because it's probably one of the hardest ones early on. That's a giant right there. We've been tasked by the companions to actually kill one. Uh, or like retrieve a family heirloom that's in a giant's camp. Hopefully that one is not too difficult to do like hopefully the giant doesn't actually have it on him you know what i mean because i can't physically kill a giant that's gonna be impossible they're level locked to 32 so yeah i wanted the horse because it just takes too damn long otherwise but don't worry we'll see we'll see if we can do it i don't think so um We'll use the flame atronach, but uh, I'm not too sure if it's gonna if we're gonna be able to. They they just nuke your health instantly. <laughs> it's even on novice difficult or novice mages, they're too hard. Um, I did it one time, but I I used unrelenting force the first word. And or become ethereal. I think I had both. Let's see what you bastards are like, eh? The first guy is usually outside, he's right there. Maybe we can use the horse's help as well. Uh, we do have a level, let's uh, favor a few spells here. We can go Oak Flesh, although that's not going to help us in this fight. This and this, and I think that's it. She's a Frost one. Oh, I don't have the mana to cast it, that's the problem. Um, so we can't do it then, pretty much. But we have the fort. Can I fast travel? Good. Uh, now. Let's see here. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. We need to go back to Helgen. And get a shout. Because this location also is leveled. And um, right now it's probably going to be guarded by wolves. Which is not a big deal. Like two or three wolves we need to deal with. Who can get animal allegiance? And hopefully that shout is uh, works on higher level en enemies. That'd be pretty useful. But it's a little bit of a trot to get there. I will, let's see. I will discover another dragon burial site before I actually discover dragons. Because it's it's easier than once you've discovered dragons. If there are Wisp Mothers, then I would rather take the dragon. <laughs> um, so Wisp Mothers are too hard. But not all dragon burial sites are guarded by the same enemy, you know. Some are guarded by wolves, apparently. Some are guarded by Wisp Mother, Hag Ravens, Force Swarms, you know. Before you actually spawn dragons. Hey, there's that guy again. He helped us out sort of in the previous episode in the treasure map camp.
Let's see if we don't kill our horse here. Oh no. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to... Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I need to put, let's see, how much is it, how much is the flame atronach? Like 120, 30 points to cast? 32, wow. I have the novice hood, I'm an idiot, of course, I have the novice hood, I can cast it. <laughs> I could have done for them all. Um, yeah. That's what I like wrote down in my notes to keep the novice hood. If these guys give me rock joint, we're gonna have a problem. Oh, I thought I dodged that. Come on, before his buddies get here. Ah, don't you run away. Let's put on the full set of heavy armor then. Boom. And the steel that the Jarl gave us. Nice, he's a gonna. We could also potentially do oak flesh. Where are you, huh? I'm gonna get your shout, big man. I hear you. Come on. Yeah. Animal allegiance, fantastic. Now I'm hoping that that works uh, against fairly high leveled animals. Even though I only have one word. Dude, the chat necklace of... Okay, 15. That could help out in the Star Wars. Oh my god. Yeah, I, when I did this with a pra in a practice run, uh, I actually got some good stuff off of that chest as well. So maybe that's just a thing that happens early on. You can get some really, really decent stuff off that chest in the beginning of the game. I have no clue. Uh, let's go to Markarth and do some shenanigans there. Start a few quests, you know, this, that, and the other. There's my horse, perfect. This is Maka Traveler. Safer city in the reach. So, the reason I'm, like, going around different places is because before I actually start any quests or anything like that, there are quite a bit of things you can use to your advantage. I almost hit that uh, NPC. There are quite a few things that you can use to your advantage. Uh, you can get enchanted items, helmets, uh, weapons, um, like, you know, the, the, the bound boy. Like, there's so many things you can do in Skyrim early on that you can get without basically, with barely fighting anything. You don't really have to fight much at all. A few wolves, you know, a few no low-level bandits, but that's expected. You have to, it's a combat RPG. Uh, but basically, without like, you know, dragons or vampires or anything crazy, you can get your character to a pretty decent uh, starting point, if you will. Gorsa requires a book. Um, we can start the Ring of Namira, I suppose. Let's take off all our really ridiculously heavy armor. Do I have enough money now? No, 206. I absolutely don't. I wanted to buy some spells from Caselmo, but hey, I guess not. If we uh, if we clear out the shrine on Namira, we also get an amulet of RK. Why not? Which is ten points of health. That's not much though. Nice. This is enough to pass. If you can get to the bottom of this, I'll get it then. Uh, there's a skill book of our alteration. I might as well get that. Can help us get uh, get going in that respect. You know. Yeah, just skill books alone, like all the skill books that you can grab without um, fighting anything. I know of like, I don't know, 10 or so. Um, just from, from the top of my head without thinking too much. Uh, well, there's 10 in Whiterun, but besides those. Yeah, there is, uh, there is plenty of good stuff that you can grab early on. What's going on? But I don't want to keep my, I'm going to keep my level a little low, so I'm not going to get everything. Next season, Next season, for sure. uh, next season, right, right, right. Kasselma's over here selling season passes. He's way, he's way ahead of the curve, this one. Can I sell you the scroll and then... Uh, so, for example, I'm not disenchanting, right, for the level's sake. Let's see, 289, that's not that much. Fast healing, what, what could be the next thing that can help us out quite a bit? Less award is primarily against dragons, so we can wait. Race soul trap. I can't, I can't afford it. I could give the beggar a coin, actually. Turn lesser on dead, 269. We'll buy in that one. Yes. Uh, let's go clean out the shrine. I think that's apprentice, though, but... It could definitely help against restless. Like, you you make a restless flea, and then you take care of the little guy one-on-one. -on -one. Or vice versa, for example. Restless struggles are probably a little tough, though. Not many would walk blindly into a crypt, 
So once he gives me the um Oh yeah, restoration right here as well. Is that worth it? We can we can save it for now. Actually we're gonna we're gonna take it. <laughs> uh the next milestone isn't really like it doesn't really matter. It's twenty five, but it doesn't really matter because I still want to I want to have a little bit higher restoration before I start it's doing right. um, apprentice more than 25 for the cost there we go you were young when you first tasted then the hunger it's okay now you this is not a very long quest whatsoever in a mirror, the lady of decay. but I'm not gonna do it just yet until then tell the people just trying to like get the ball rolling you know we need to discover a few things. Steedstone and Solitude, for example. All of that is safe. Give me your amulet. Thank you. And I have the Blessing of RK combined with the Amulet of RK. It's pretty decent. 35 extra points of health. If you were to do the Ring of Amira, once you feed on a corpse, you get 50 points of health for 5 minutes. So that's, that's an absurd amount of health um, for this quest, essentially, early on. Let's go to, I guess we can start um, the Maze of Molag Bal, make the guy go inside the house to lock him as well. You don't know about this house. What's going on here? Excuse me. He has an iron mace, okay good. Why are you asking? I don't think I could kill this guy. This was actually, just actually, you know what? I can kill him. Thank you for your time. But uh, then I'm going to be forced to speak to Molag Bal, so I'm not going to do it yet. Yeah, go inside, good. Which, uh, you know, it, take, it takes a while. Let's go to Solitude and discover the Steed Stone, shall we? It's not going to take that long when you have the the horse running quicker mod. Where do you want to go? Solitude. And back and we'll take me to the right city this time. Thank you very much. First Helm of Ingol is another one. Silver weapons, That's right? Bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. We're going to get all that stuff through, uh, out of the way before we move on to like a proper quest, which is probably going to be Bleak Falls. Because I want to do uh, the main storyline to start shouting as soon as possible. So, discover the stables. Actually, I'm going to have to go down here to get my horse. The hurry? There's a lot of hurry. Skyrim is burning and all that. Um, right, I'm going to get the statue of Meridia. Dawnbreaker is a one-handed weapon. But... Uh, but yeah, it's it's really hard to do, so I probably can't do that. Hey, it unlocks level 12. I was thinking of getting Volendron combined with the Star of Azura, but that's another thing. The Star of Azura is ridiculous. Maybe I could do it with, like, Alchemy, if I get lucky with some uh, Fire Enchantments, if I find some Fire Enchantment. I think I have a necklace of that. But it's only 15%, right? There is a helmet in the College of Winterhold could help, too. Alright, let's get the statue to Meridia. <laughs> and uh, become ethereal as well. I mean, elemental fury. Horse, don't move in my way. Big bastard. What the heck is that? Vigilant of Stendhal attacking vampires. Oh, we can get some vampire dust. Which is good for curing disease. And these guys tend to have cure disease potions, but I can't kill them. Are you mad? Ring of wielding. Okay, it's one-handed. Okay, okay. Settle down. Settle down. <laughs> I'm using two-hand, but it's still very good. Uh, and shamans are pretty... Do that. It's been pretty, pretty good, you know, loot early on in the beginning. That's kind of crazy. Uh, let's see, at level 10, the Hall of the Vigilant is burnt down. Which means you can go there and get cure disease potions, right? Otherwise, you're going to have to fight Silver Hand. Uh, or Vampires for the Vampire Dust and Mud Crabs. So there we go, Steed Stone. One of my favorite stones in the game. Boom. That settles that. Maybe we can go and discover some more cities. Um, Dawnstar is that. Let me think for a second. Winterhold. Yeah, dude, there's, there's like so much stuff I need to do. <laughs> uh, and Riften. 
all of those cities have like something I need to do in uh, in and around the cities, if you know what I mean. Where do you want to go? So I guess we can go to we can go to Dawnstar first. I don't do charity. No oh, I don't have the gold. Oh, it's literally zero gold. All right then, let's uh. <laughs> we doesn't do charity. Oh my god. Let's sell off some stuff to Bellathor at the general goods store. And I guess I'll see you in um just to not make it make it too long, you know, it's kinda of boring here in the beginning, just fast traveling everywhere. I'll see you in Dawnstar. Okay, here we go, we're in Dawnstar. I just sold a few things to Bellathor. A few robes and stuff like that. We need to get to Drift Shade. No, but I was gonna, yeah, Drift Shade Refuge, because I, I don't remember how far you need to get into Gallows Rock. That's an Ice Wolf. Are you kidding me? Why the hell Ice Wolves already? I guess we'll level up then, if Ice Wolves have started spawning. Although maybe they always do as long as you're in the right area. Uh, there are two locations that you can get silver weapons, but two-handed weapons are a little bit more difficult, like the silver two-handed greatsword. Uh, there's Gallows Rock and Drift Shade Refuge. And I actually think Driftshade Refuge is, or I mean Gallows Rock is better. We're actually heading to Driftshade. We shall see though. We may have to go inside a little bit. Silver weapons are amazing against undead. Hopefully these guys are still bandit level. That'd be pretty amazing. Let's put on our super duper gear here. Uh, steel armor, man. The steel armor is so, it's like separated from everything else. We do have the steed stone, so no problem in that regard. That's about it. Yeah. Easily blocked. Let's take out the guy above so he doesn't mock up my horse. These wo these potions can be used for resist fire, frost, and shock. Or at least fire and frost. Snowberry is a pretty good ingredient. Rah, it looks like they are like bandit-esque level. Let's level up two-handed then. It could be a little bit difficult in here. Magicka. Could be useful for our early shenanigans. Four perk points, two champion stance we can hold off. Let's see, it's either heavy armor, alteration. The question is, is novice or like is oak flesh giving me 40 armor rating gonna be better? I have no idea. I don't I don't do math that well. Better than like 20% better here <laughs> for my armor rating. We can get both, I guess. Restoration for regeneration. See, that's probably more important. Oopsie daisy. Uh, that is the question. I guess we'll do Oak Flesh, whatever. Because now we can cast this for a little cheaper. Which is going to increase our armor rating by 40 points. Uh, I mean, we need, we need money, don't we? We're broke as hell. One of you better have a two-handed weapon, I swear. Let's put on, uh, let's see here, let's put this on the right hand. We could have raised zombies, should we do that? To have a little bit of an easier time with these enemies in here? Um, nice. She's not gonna be that powerful, but it's enough as like a distraction. I could have also obviously conjured a uh, bloody Atronach. Or oh, does she not come in with me? May not come in with me. Really? They can't go through doors? Zombies? God damn it. Alright. Let's go with this. Put on the hood. Uh, otherwise we don't have enough magicka. Oh yeah. This one This one takes a while, doesn't it? Before they get 200 weapons. We'll see. We may have to go a different location now. Because the, there's... You need to fight too many enemies before... You find one with two-handed, I think. And we're gonna do this with the companions at some point, so. Where's my horse? Don't lie to me, horsey. Uh, we'll go to... From Windhelm, we can go to Gallows Rock, which is the second place you can find silver weapons. Helm of Ingol over there. We need to do that at some point as well. Maybe we can discover kind scrub this time. Hello, fox. Man, there's a bunch of foxes everywhere. It's ridiculous. Uh, 
Uh, there are some predators around this area, so you want to be careful. But uh, the creep cluster is really good. And there's also a lot of dragon's tongue here. Both ingredients are excellent. Uh, over here in Gallows Rock, we can find um, steel plate gauntlets. They always spawn there 100% of the time, as well as a steel helmet, a steel horned helmet, a steel shield, a book of heavy armor. It's, it's like by an unmarked shrine of Talos. It's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Although armor doesn't really matter that much early on, though. I have uh, done a little test where there is an orcish armor in Largashbur that you can steal everything except the gloves so i think that early on the most defense you can possibly muster is gonna be f that full plate uh, full set of orcish armor and then the steel plate gauntlets that are over here so i put that stuff on uh, and compared it to a full set of iron against both a mud crab and a bandit and did i do it against an outlaw too I don't think so, but I did it against those two at the very least. And the difference wasn't really big enough to make a, a huge difference. You, you kept a few extra points of health and that was about it. But I guess we'll pick it up since we're here. There's also a giant's camp over there. That only has one giant, so you can use him for some training. Whenever you can take a hit from him. The it's the end for me. Let's see if we can deal with these enemies here. Silver Hound. Do I hear another one? Yep. Alright, this doesn't do all my damage. Rah, I miss completely. Hit me. Easily blocked. There is a third one. I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's loot everything. The silver swords are actually pretty decent value, don't they? No, 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 no. There we go. Do I have regeneration? I don't think so. That's gonna help. <laughs> I'm actually gonna have this guy hit me to train heavy armor. There we go. Just pick up everything, drop it later. Soul pal, I wanna hear it. Let's put on those uh, super overpowered gauntlets. Hey, that's why we came here, isn't it? So now we have more things towards the bottom. Only the boots are up top. Dude, look how we're looking. This is ridiculous. Um, not bad at all. Whoa, why is it glitching? I can't see my character. No, don't do this, Skyrim. Alright, let me quit the game. I have no idea what the heck what that was. There we go, did it fix it? It looks like it did. <laughs> what the heck was that? I went out into third person, I still couldn't see my character. Uh, hopefully these guys don't mock me up too much. We need the, the hood though for the... Uh, and I guess we can put on the Ring of Conjuration since we don't have any rings, right? It's gonna make that uh, fr Flame Atronach a little bit easier to summon. I still probably need full mana though. There we go, we can do it now. There should be a guy down here that has a two-handed weapon, right? Yep, it's an orc. Rah! Alright, they're not too top. And look, I mean, the I know the Flame Master not can solo this fight. I just didn't know that the thing about Silver Hand doesn't tell you what tier they are. And they have Cure Disease potions as well. So, I don't really want to suddenly get one shot in <laughs> or anything like that. That would be pretty bad. There we go, two handed silver weapon. You guys have no idea how stacked we are. And we're just getting started. Alright, we're just getting started. Um, there's still things like the Helm of Ingol and all of the Dwarven pieces that you can pick up. Um, maybe we can continue with Riften in the next episode and also join the Dawn Guard. Before that, though, we can do one final thing that's going to give us a decent weapon. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's not too far ahead. Not too far ahead at all. And it's a good thing we have the Steedsville and the Horse because we're going to be picking up some items that are pretty heavy. Dwarven pieces. That can be further used for smithing. I kind of want to make this episode kind of like preparing the character, you know? Making it super duper good. Uh, up there you have Frost Breath. One word of Frost Breath. We can get that as well. 
just uh, because before dragons spawn, it's only guarded by skeletons. So that's a lot easier. Three skeletons. And uh, yeah, we're decked out. <laughs> I mean, the orcus sword was... Um, we got by accident. But we can use that silver sword against them, can't we? Though you get less XP because it does less base damage. But we can try it out. You'll see how much how ridiculous it is. Um, first thing we're gonna do though is soul trap them. Do I have... No, I don't have soul trap. I was right. Never mind. Because uh, they couldn't afford it. Let's see about this sword. They should count as undead, I'm pretty sure. Let's rush them a little bit. I think a one-shot power attack would be a one-shot. Yep. Let's see about the Orcish Sword then. Let's wait a little bit for our stamina so the comparison can be a little bit more fair. Although I regen- No, 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 horse, no! Wait. Okay, the horse hit him as well, I think. But yeah, you can see how good the Silver Sword is. Um, I didn't have full, full stamina, which I think may impact the damage by a little bit. You can still perform a power attack with one stamina, but I think that if you have full stamina, you do more damage, maybe. Slightly more damage. Light feet, frostbite. Uh, at some point, I'm going to have to learn that. So, whatevs. Or you could use a staff. Was that a staff of frostbite? <laughs> yeah, okay. I didn't have to. But it's, you know, it's so late in the game, so... Uh, let's get back on the horse. So yeah, easy. Three skeletons. Even with a normal weapon, that's super, super easy to do. Iron ore. Let's get, they, can, they can keep that. But uh, rather than having to fight a dragon. As a matter of fact, I kind of recommend discovering as much as you can in this location before you spawn dragons. Because um, the dragon here, I think there are, there's always one. Unless you kill him. And then there will be another one like roaming around the place. Uh, that could potentially spawn so you could potentially have two dragons here in this like sort of marshland area And it's pretty annoying when you come in here to do things and you don't want to fight the dragon like discover this stone <laughs> uh, So yeah This is very close to Fort Amal So there we go now we can go for The other thing that I wanted to do which direction would that be in a eh? It's over yeah, let's just put a marker. It's kind of confusing it's close to the mountains. It's a uh, dwarven ruin, Mazolt. All right, saber cats are way too tough. Uh, I think I would be able to kill them with if I was using my um, my flame atronach, having him focus on the flame atronach and then taking pot shots at him. That would work. Wolves are not too tough though. But there it is, there's the rune right there. Oh, those guys fight each other? Saber cats and wolves? Okay. I do have the animal allegiance shout, I just can't shout yet. I think it's gonna work on saber cats. Definitely on wolves. So there's the storeroom, let's just discover the thing. Is there a chest over here? Is that just like. It's a body. Oh yeah, the one that gives you the Ethereum quest, isn't it? Yep. Let's pick up his stuff because uh, <laughs> we are poor as heck. Although we're, we're about to not be very poor. Let's get the horse close by in case we get over encumbered, which could happen. There we go. Now you just got like free ingots. Uh, maybe not that close. How about it? How about it, horse? <laughs> now you said close. Um, free ingots, free Dwemer pieces you get. A bunch of uh, free ones here. Let's put this one by the door. Because it's super heavy. Yeah. Although I know I picked up one that was 25 units. Just this room right here. If you take anything away from this episode, it's this goddamn room. I keep going on and on about it every time I do a playthrough because... It is so good. It is so good, the stuff you pick up here. I just think it should be talked about it more, you know? Uh, petty soul gem. I need a soul trap. Ooh, increased stamina has a decent enchantment. Although, 10 points... Ooh, what was that? 
10 points of health or the Amulet of Stamina. Actually, when I get Talos, it's not going to matter. I got Senethar. Cool. I don't have to go for the Shrine of Senethar then. Uh, what the heck was this circlet? I have an Amulet of Willing. That's one-handed. Increase fire. Increase heavy armor. Cool. Dude, <laughs> the amount of enchantments. Didn't I have a circlet too? Of something? Or is that just... Did I read that wrong? I guess not. No, wrong way. All right. The levers, the cogs, the plates, they don't really do anything. There it is. There is the weapon. And it looks to be fire. Nice. That looks pretty nice. That starts a quest. Empty, empty. Fantastic. This is an expert gate. A little bit harder would take time, but you could you could do that for the XP sake. And that over encumbers us. Fantastic. Okay. Now we can a a big big butt. Now we can just fast travel to White Run, which has a uh, smelter really close by. And I'm just gonna smelt all this stuff down, put it in the companions most likely. But yeah, and in the next episode we're gonna do Rift and just begin the Dawn Guard so that I get the um, the crossbow can be pretty useful and a few bolts. Have to be sparing with them though. But uh, I think that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.